My name is Daniela Mikkelmeier. Uh, I'm a UFEM, a uh, EU-based uh, co- uh, fellow from Cohort 2020 based at SSI in Denmark. I'm a trained virologist and I joined this uh, program. And in September 2021, there was a call uh, for help from the Health Emergencies Department at WHO Euro Office. And they were requesting help for setting up surveillance for severe respiratory infections in the country, Georgia. And I applied because I was super excited um, uh, about this project and about global health in general and making an impact with my work. Um, And I also always wanted to work in a field with epidemiology and particularly also working with the WHO. And so I was super happy when I got selected for this project. And my deployment started uh, on the 9th of October, and I stayed in Georgia, Tbilisi, for almost six weeks. And so now a little bit about my duties. I supported the EPI team uh, in Georgia at the CDC, and also uh, worked with the WHO country office. Uh, And there I was working with the teams, I visited the labs, and I was honestly super surprised how high standard and how developed and top-notch the labs were there. And I was also impressed by the breadth of research. So they had really great um, uh, labs for each of the pathogens, and I was very impressed with it. Um, I also learned a lot about the healthcare system and how diagnostics are handled in Georgia. And my work particularly involved working with this software called RedCap. It's a data collection tool for setting up surveillance systems. And I learned actually during my employment how difficult it can be to set up the right questions, like what do you want to capture with your questionnaire and how do you do surveillance, especially with somebody uh, coming from bench work or lab science. It was very interesting to see how actually f- field is surveillance is really working. And additionally, I got the chance also to work with another project with the WHO office on the correlates of protection. Um, it's a study set up in many countries in Europe. And I helped them with the study design and uh, learned a lot about case control studies. Uh, The goal was to analyze antibody titers and correlate them with breakthrough infections. And that's something that's still going on now. A challenge, I would say, during my deployment was the COVID pandemic in general. Um, It was hard to wear masks all the time. There were a lot of restrictions in place. I couldn't mingle as much as I would have maybe liked to. And everyone was very overwhelmed and tired uh, due to the pandemic. What I liked really a lot uh, about the, the deployment was the teamwork, the warmness of the people, and their welcoming me into their team. And to actually see the real case scenarios, the real world problems uh, in the field. And uh, also I found it really intriguing working with so many international teams Uh, from WHO and and really hearing their problems and their approach to science and EPI. So all in all, I would say I was really glad and thankful for this uh, deployment. It it really broadened my skill sets. I learned so much about uh, field EPI and surveillance, healthcare systems in other parts of the world. And I learned also a lot about the work of the WHO country office. And last not but least, I would also like to say that Georgia in itself was a very uh, f- fantastic country, very fascinating. People, food, uh, the landscape and history was all really a- a- an eye-opener to me, uh, coming to Georgia uh, as-, as a newbie. So I'm really glad uh, as being part of this deployment, really enjoyed it, and would recommend every fellow to join uh, one of these deployments.